So my name is Christopher Sean Curtis, uh, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R, -E last name Curtis, C-U-R-T-I-S. I am currently the acting fire chief for Mountain Home Air Force Base in Southwest Idaho. So we got a call um, just prior to 1700 local. Um, we were out on the ramp. We had a, uh, a thunderstorm roll through the area. Uh, the thunderstorm brought lightning with it. Uh, we saw several lightning strikes. Um, two of those strikes occurred on the installation and both uh, almost immediately ignited wildland fires. Um, based on that, uh, we returned to the station because we were out on a separate call for an aircraft emergency, uh, loaded up our wildland vehicles, loaded up our RF rescue vehicles, swapped into our wildland firefighting gear, and we reported out to both incident scenes. Um, first scene was at the 31 Victor Gate, um, approximately three acres when we arrived on scene. The majority of our assets were assigned to that fire. We had a second fire that we call a spot fire, um, minimal in size. We sent one vehicle over there. Uh, that fire was immediately um, extinguished and we pulled resources back to the 31 Victor fire, five acre fire when we got it under control. Um, big concern with that fire that we had was there were A-10s in the area. Um, they were never really in any danger, but we want to make sure we control that before it does become a danger to the aircraft. Um, from that point, um, we found uh, that there was another fire that was burning up out of the canyon, off of the installation, uh, southeast of the base. Um, the City of Mountain Home Fire Department was on scene. We sent two of our wildland assets, one that belongs to us and one that's on a courtesy loan from the Bureau of Land Management, to that fire with six firefighters and a safety officer. Um, they tied in with the City of Mountain Home and um, we fought that fire to the highway from Beat Dump Road until we had to pull our assets back to the installation because the fire that was off of the three zero end of the runway reignited. So the fires that we had on base, uh, the small fire that we had, which was off of the three zero end of the runway, um, at the end of the night when everything was extinguished was just shy of one acre, so really minimal. Uh, the fire that's over 31 Victor Gate off the back side of the low area is about five acres, rough estimate. Uh, the fire that was off base that's actually still actively burning right now um, is, was measured at 1,500 acres this morning by the Bureau of Land Management. I'm sure it has grown since then. So Southwest Idaho, uh, the biggest challenge that we deal with out here is the unpredictability of the weather, especially when you get into high temperatures. We see a lot of uh, thunderstorm lightning activity that builds up quickly. Um, the weather, as far as winds, is erratic. So it makes uh, wildland firefighting in the desert um, extremely challenging. We have a lot of highly volatile uh, fuels in the area and winds on low volatile fuels have a tendency to really change directions quickly. Um, another issue that we have here at Mountain Home Air Force Base is that the, um, the size of the vehicle fleet we have has been greatly reduced over the last 10 years and our manpower has been cut literally in half over the past 10 years. So fighting a wildland fire with somewhere between nine and 11 firefighters on duty at any given time is an extreme challenge. What can the folks on base or off base do to help you guys out? So the biggest thing, and you hear this a lot all over, is if you see something, say something. If you see smoke, don't feel like somebody else made that call already. Call early, call often. Um, on that note, fireworks are always forbidden on Mountain Home Air Force Base, so let's not play with fireworks. Um, smoking materials, seems like a cigarette's not a big deal, but some of the largest fires in the nation have been caused by a cigarette that was thrown to the side of the road. Um, Southwest Idaho especially is vulnerable to cigarettes because the interstates have fuel right next to them. You pop a cigarette out, it's gonna hit that fuel and it is gonna start a fire. Um, on base, like I said, no fireworks. And if you're uh, smoking, extinguish your cigarettes in the proper manner. So, as the fire chief, the acting fire chief, I would be willing to put my 54 assigned firefighters against the best firefighters in the nation. Mountain Home Air Force Base has highly trained, highly proficient firefighters, both on the military side and the civilian side. Um, I don't think you could ask for a better crew. And their job last night? They did exceptional. Yeah, that is exceptional. For, for a fire in Southwest Idaho to be contained at one acre or five acres is absolutely unheard of this time of year. Um, we, we do always have a concern, um, 4th of July timeframe, not only because um, 
of the dry fuels and the lack of moisture, even though we had a very wet, very cold winter, that moisture is long gone in the desert. Um, so fireworks, not as concerned on base, they're forbidden, but people need to understand that fireworks extend to sparklers, things that don't seem dangerous. Um, and barbecues, we've had fires where there were barbecues placed too close to fences or too close to housing units. Got to make sure you have standoff distance for those, especially this time of year. And 4th of July is a big barbecue holiday. Um, and then you always want to throw in the, if you're going off base, and you're going to the forest and you're going into the camping areas throughout the state of Idaho, make sure you're following the Forest Service's direction.